Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. James here again with another Civ 6 video. Today we're going to continue with part 7 of the Let's Learn Civ tutorial series. We're playing as Egypt. Um, and before I get too far into the game, I just wanted to quickly say thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel. I know I haven't been posting that much recently, but um, I do really want to post more. I think I've just been super busy with work. Um, I also have another channel. And uh, among other things, also just uh, had a couple things that I I've had to deal with and so just been figuring things out but hopefully can come back to posting a lot more videos uh, i want to make this a more regular thing more regular schedule and uh i'll stop talking now so uh let's see from everything i recall from this game we were playing as egypt we started out in james land again our land not amazing a lot of flat land so you can see um not a lot of production uh potential really uh but it's okay we've been expanding sl very slowly um, we're decently far into the game already, actually, 150 turns, um, so I definitely do want to start ramping up, as you can see, um, some of these other sieves definitely are getting pretty high up there. Um, but the main thing we've been up to, uh, our big enemy Norway originally declared war on us, um, tried to attack us around here, I think we then took Stavanger, uh, which then we held after an emergency, and yeah, then we started war again, we took his capital, Nidaros, and now we're moving on to Oslo. So uh, let's hit next turn and see what, we're, what we got here. All right, let's get some niter with our worker here. Um, meanwhile, everything else looks like that's pretty much my turn. So yeah, they're he, he, they're trying their best to attack into my dudes. Um, there actually are a decent amount of units here. I I think I should still be okay for now. Um, the one thing I just don't like is this one encampment right here. That's going to be annoying to deal with, especially. Alright, so I don't think this musket man is going to be able to live. So I think the move might just be to pillage, see what I can get here, because I'm not sure I can escape. He, this, guy, this, this encampment should be able to attack me as well. Do I have a promotion anywhere? I have a promotion on this guy. So what I'm thinking here is I'm going to move him a little bit to give him some space. And let's also... I shouldn't be defending. I wasn't thinking. Um, but yeah, just give him a quick promotion to heal him up as much as possible. Um, meanwhile, with this guy... I realize I haven't really built Sphinx in this game yet. Um, gives us Culture and Faith. Let me also just double check to see. Culture and Faith, plus two appeal, plus two faith, if next to a wonder. And plus one culture if on floodplains. Alright. So, maybe let's start with one in, like, James Land. Maybe we can build one... Where's my closest wonder and floodplain? Doesn't look like I... Like, this is my wonder, but I don't think I have any free tiles around it, unfortunately. Um, so instead... Yeah, let's, let's move him up. Maybe get a sphinx somewhere around here. I think this should be a floodplain, right? Just planes? No, floodplains. Planes, floodplains. Yeah, so I'll probably build a sphinx. One of these two here. All right, another promotion, um, but I think I'm probably going to save this promotion for now. Instead, let's, it's not a lot of damage for that shot, so let's instead see if we can go at the walls. Dang, that, that didn't do very much either. Hmm, starting to rethink if maybe I want to continue this war here, because, uh, Definitely, definitely not doing as much damage as I thought I would. All right, here I'm going. I'm probably going to attack this dude. Wow, did not kill him. Something went on. What? Hmm. Yeah, strongly considering. If maybe because if if this is taking that, taking that long to hit, that health. Let's see, 200 garrison health. We got up here 200, 200, 100. Oh, 300 fortification health. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of walls. Um, and at that rate, like I already took his capital. I don't necessarily need this land here. Like I'd, I'd hate to have to back off, but I feel like just seeing how long it's gonna take for some of these guys to kind of get through. Let me see how much damage I can do here. Did a good amount of damage here. Maybe I can 
Because I do want to try to get rid of some of his units if I can. Just because uh, I, I don't want to let them just heal up, you know? Um, but I don't think I can... I don't think there's anything I can kill this turn. Unless I suicide this guy. Alright, I have a chance. I have a chance. Or I could take the faith right now. Do I even need the faith, though? I, I'm generating a bunch of faith. I don't have a religion. Probably don't... I guess it would be useful for a culture victory, but at the end of the day, 90, that's 89. Yeah, that's that's what, three turns, two, two and a half turns, really. I think it's probably a better idea just to keep this guy alive. Because, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to take those walls out. Again, fortification health here, 300 as well. So those both those walls are big. These are all big, plus now he has these encampments. Yeah, I, I think maybe the smart move here is to just back off for now. Because um, I, if I keep investing resources, I, I don't think that's going to take me anywhere. Um, so I think, unfortunately, as much as I hate to have to do it, let's see if he'll give me anything for it. Give me gold. How about that? No? Alright, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, not that either. How about some more gold? Okay. Give me your favor too. Yeah. How do I? 100. No? How about 25? No. 10? 20? 21? Nope. Okay, 20 it is. Gives me his capital. Make peace. And sorry if you hear any thumping. My upstairs neighbor is doing something. I, I don't want to comment on what I think it might be. So, thank you, my friend, he says. Gives us a happy face for now. But, there we go. Made peace, saved ourselves, our soldier, but he is now, <laughs> he's now trapped in, uh, he's trapped in Norway, unable to help himself. We're gonna have to quickly negotiate for, give me open borders, what would you like? You know what? Fine. I'll give you the 12 extra gold. Not a big deal. You know what? And let's, let's send this guy to explore, now that we have open borders with him. Alright. So now that we have all these dudes available, um, let's start kind of... Spreading them out, maybe around our our lands. Um, let's definitely heal this guy up. Let's get this pike dude over here. Maybe like a ranged guy somewhere around here. Let's get some of these bombards to help just, just kind of line up in different areas, keep an eye out on things. Because um, we do have some pretty dangerous neighbors. Rome, real close. India, always always threatening. Can never really uh, trust India in Civ games, as I'm sure uh, everyone probably knows by now. Let's see. Yeah, probably just gonna start moving some my, some of my troops over there. Let's keep that for now. Yes, since these guys are closer, I'm gonna just start pivoting them over this way slowly. So I got a trade route. Oh, and also just real quick, I, I forgot to mention. I have a bunch of new mods installed, so the game might look a little different from yours. I'll try my best to explain if I do see specific mod. Um, I'll try my best to explain what they do, what they are, and try to help you understand what's going on. Alright, so, the trade route. At this point in the game, I don't mind just getting some, some money. We already have, we already have a bunch of, uh, routes to some of these places. I kind of want to try to expand my trade route, uh, zone. So essentially, in case you didn't know, um, Every time you complete a trade route, a, a trade route, and a post is created in a city, it basically expands uh, how far your your routes can start going at that point. So, for example, if I were to start a trade route to Aquila, then after that one is done, it should hopefully be able to expand up out to uh, Valletta and, and further out even. So, it's a little less money, but let's. Oh, I, I totally forgot though. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually in alliances with a bunch of these dudes, um, so I actually don't even need to worry about war with them. I think it's mainly Norway. I got to keep an eye out for. Um, so yeah, let's let's actually just work on expanding our trade orb of influence. I guess maybe is the right way to put it. Uh, send this guy to Aquila. We got a promotion for our bombard, but it looks like he already shot. So. Made peace, bunch of dudes. It's always a annoying thing to have to click through. Oh, 
All right. So some war between city states and all. But again, time to go back to a peaceful time. Let's just spread some units out. You know, let's get promote this guy. Let's get him to a floodplain. And yeah, start moving this guy. He's a horseman, right? Let's move him all the way down there. Meanwhile, here, let's see. So what what do we think is the best way we can win here? So our science is pretty low, um, and our culture is pretty far behind right now too. So this this is this truly has been a tough game, honestly. Um, but not last, at least. Um, no, but I, I, there's definitely ways we can come back. I think maybe the easiest, safest way would probably be science, um, and we're definitely going to get science regardless. Um, but I think that we're kind of hitting the stage of the game where I really need to start ramping up, um, and whether that means uh, you know whoring out wonders, uh, things like that, we'll, we'll we'll figure it out, I guess. Um, but first, let me. The city hasn't been growing because I I haven't paying very much attention to it, unfortunately. Um, so let's. Let me. I just want to see like the borders of some of these cities real quick, see what what these guys can work. Do I take that, maybe? Yeah, because I feel like this this city, Swinette, decent amount of food already. Redium doesn't, so I'll, I'll take I'll take the take that over there. Help that city grow a little more. Meanwhile, in Swinette, is it time to start wonder whoring? Do I? Maybe. Maybe. That would help boost our culture too, because uh. Basically, every wonder next to a theater square will give plus two culture. So right now it's getting plus two from uh, Tio. T is that what this one is? I forget. Chichen Itza. Sorry, Chichen Itza. Um, so you know what? Maybe maybe I will build a Taj Mahal. I, I think Taj Mahal is one I don't see a lot of CPUs go for. So I kind of like going for it. Uh, it's relatively safe. Not the most useful effect, I would say, to be honest. But you know, I just like building wonders for the heck of it. You know, do whatever you want. That's what's so nice about civilization. Meanwhile, here. Hmm. Do I want an archaeological museum or an art museum? I'm not seeing. Unless it's. Have I reached the civic for it yet? So I haven't reached arc natural history yet. So it's. It's gonna be a bit before I can really even take advantage of an archaeological. So let's let's get an art museum here. Maybe we get archaeological in Swinette later on after the Taj Mahal is done. Um, and otherwise, again, just just gonna start moving some units around. Make sure we are safe uh, everywhere. Let's promote this dude. And yeah, again, just ferrying people across. You know, have have a guy here. Why not? Just keep some keep some vision. Um. Yeah, let's let's move him around. Hopefully, he doesn't run into barbarians. Ah, a spy. I I don't remember exactly what we did with this guy before, but I think maybe the move now we really gotta start catching up in science. So I think the move right now is to probably spy on our friend Gandhi. Um. I guess I can't because we aren't in an alliance. I suppose. So I guess I can't spy on him. No worries. Instead, let's see who's next. Tamiris, I think I'm also friends with her. So Basile, all right, next best thing. Let's go to Constantinople. The next, 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 next best thing, I guess. Um, so yeah, to Constantinople he goes. He's gonna try to get, oh, some someone messing around with spies in my place, huh? It's probably a, uh, Probably somebody. Alright, here we go. So next, you know what? I haven't really been doing religion, but I think having some of this stuff might actually be useful. Um, do I have harbors? I don't really have harbors. Yeah, I don't really have harbors around here. Um... Let's go with colonialism. I think that's solid. 
Oh uh, yeah, and so uh, I got this mod for a better tech tree UI. That's why it kind of looks a little bit different. Um, you'll see it has like just diff additional details in case you have want you wonder uh, what certain things do. So you you just get a better idea of like how everything relates to each other. Here's the inspirations. Here's the eurekas. Um, and yeah, so let's start building up more here. Maybe another theater square, maybe. Do I have a commercial hub yet? No, I don't. So for this, again, we get more money from trade routes as well as food and gold. Uh, we get a lot for alliances, which is probably why I have so many alliances. Um, plus 15 production towards districts and wonders if placed next to a river. All right, in that case, oh, slight graphical bug. I'm thinking this spot right here seems the best. Um, do I have a worker? So, all right. Again, I don't always do this because I don't always care about having to play, you know, super perfectly. But if ever possible, um, you know how, so for example, if I were to try to put this commercial hub down here, it would say this will remove the marsh on this tile. Are you sure you want to do this? Um, and when, if you do, it, it does, it, it'll clear it out automatically for you. Um, but a big thing that, you know, just to, if you really want to play super optimally and take advantage of every little thing that you can, um, what you want to do is get a builder on top of that area and clear it out with the builder in order to essentially get the resources that you would otherwise be losing out on. So, you know, if, if I were to play something, uh, for example, I can't put it in the woods there, but say, say I put something in the woods here, it would clear out the woods and I would lose the production that I would get from chopping down those trees. So it's always good if you can to, to get that to get that builder uh, as a little something extra. So I can actually build four districts here. And in case you didn't know, I, I believe, I, I always misremember the numbers sometimes, but I believe you can build a district at level at one population. And then after that, every three pop. So there'll be four, seven, 10, 13. I, I believe it's three, it might be four. I, I could be a little wrong. Um, but that's my understanding. So let's, let's uh, we can build two districts here. So in addition to the theater square, or in addition to the hub, we are gonna get the theater square. So maybe, I'm just thinking what, what areas could I potentially build wonders? Um, it, Cause I, I wanna get, try to get value out of these, uh, out of these theater squares, of course, as much as I can. Like this, the two here is probably the most I'm gonna get for that. But am I really gonna put anything else here? I'm surprised I don't. Um, Hmm. Maybe this is just a safe move. Just take advantage of the two points. Um, I think that's that's fine. Meanwhile, in this city, Apu, we've we've kind of been uh, ignoring Apu here, but you know what? Let's let's get our first harbor. You know, let's let's start let's start getting some sea game out. I I I think we're playing on continents. I, I can't remember exactly what kind of map we're playing on. It's been uh, it's been a while, but um meanwhile here let's, let's look at the city state game so for our governors uh pingala was knocked out of our capital unfortunately but we do have a couple other guys out we had to use victor i remember um to hold the city it was pretty tough um but that that whole thing is over with now amani where is amani so let's let's check let's check the city state game so we have amani and nazgarmu na na nazargamu not so that's this place. All right, that's a good place to have her, I think. I still hold her. Um, so I think I'm okay on upgrading her. Um, uh, maybe, maybe. What luxuries does he got here at, in Nazgarmu? It doesn't look like he has any, actually. I might have stolen his luxury, like the coffee and the uh, truffles. So I may not even really need to upgrade that yet. Quite yet. Um... So instead, maybe the move is let's get Liang, um, you know, just so we can have more people across more, uh, more of our cities. Let's put them in a poo. And again, just start healing up. Let's put them on alert. And yeah, let's put them on alert. 
So one uh, really good thing you want to just remember you can do, keep in mind, especially towards uh, later er eras, it's called uh, creating a core. And I think later on you can also create armies, which are three stars. Um, essentially how that works is um, you combine units together by, to form a core. Um, so they take up less space that way, become a little bit stronger. Um, you also get achievements for them. I, to be honest, I since I don't usually go to war super often, I don't feel like I know particularly how strong they are compared to um, the standard, like how much stronger in terms of like a percentage of damage. Um, but they are definitely stronger. Taking up less space is important too. Um, and later on, you can even uh, produce units at higher level. See here, I can f produce cores. So for additional one turn, I can make a stronger pike and shot versus the standard pike and shot. Um, so just something good to know in case you didn't know that already. But if you have them in the field, something you can do is form a core. So it'll highlight, okay, so who's next to me that I can combine with? And boom, we just absorb that guy. In a way, we even gave him a free promotion because, uh, free two promotions, if anything. Um, and now this guy is slightly stronger. So he has 65 bombard strength here and 55 melee and versus a 45-55 here. Um, so decent, decent amount uh, more it, it, based on that. Uh, of course, it is also level two, so maybe maybe that also might affect it. Um, maybe not actually, based on the upgrades I'm seeing here. So, um, I think we're all we're all learning something here. Um, meanwhile, let's get this field cannon just just to get an eye out everywhere. Let's let's move this guy here. Dang, I do want this city though, Skedsmo here. It's got the Colossus. Yeah, but attacking into this area is going to be a little tough. Just two cities wailing down on you but from here. This, this this lake too, really annoying to have to deal with. So I might just leave him to, to kind of rot in this little hole down here. Um, and I do think I should probably start getting maybe one more settler. Not a great city, but probably settle around here somewhere. Maybe can get another one here. Again, not a great city, but um, just to... I just like having large cities you know you know what? let's explore let's explore let's bring this guy back to heal he's what was i thinking why, why did i think that was going to be a good idea sending sending that guy around okay, and let's uh let's rest him here and you know what let's just get let's just get a worker here too fix up fix up nidoros let's let's rebuild this country the city together oh okay so great mod in case you didn't know policy change reminder are you like me and you always forget to change your policies just because you get too into it you just completely lose yourself in the game now it'll give you a reminder um and here for again there's another policy uh sorry another mod that gives you the details of how much each uh each policy will give you so it basically just helps you make better decisions and not always a good thing to be able to make better decisions so Let's take a look at this real quick. What could I use here? What could I use here? Honestly, right now, I might be thinking this, switching this out. A five and five, not grand scheme of things, it's not a crazy amount for me. And maybe that extra gold could be pretty helpful. 20 gold a turn, that's, that's not nothing. And making a lot here. Let's also just start boosting up some spies a bit, maybe. Meanwhile, here. Let's start boosting our production. That's always something that uh, we've kind of been struggling with pretty badly in, in our cities. Oh, and I'm not at war anymore, so I'm going to take out Oligarch Legacy. And instead, let's replace it with this. Your trade routes to an ally city or vassal city-state provide plus two food and plus two production. So... Giving plus 10 food, plus 10 production. Very solid boosts all around, I think. Let me see if there's anything else I want here. Yeah, okay. So big swing in terms of uh, production for sure. That's going to be very useful for us. And let's keep moving. All right. So again, wanted to build a Sphinx. Because one, I don't think we built one yet. And we are Egypt, so it would be kind of foolish of us not to. Um, so let's build it 
We should build it right next to James Land, right? Yeah, right next to James Land. Why not? Meanwhile, all the religions raging in my in my lands. All right. We did find some coal right in our lands. Perfect. Do not want to let uh, Norway here get that. So that is great for us. More coal here as well. So overall, pretty solid. Another good thing, and also just FYI in terms of long term, like settling in some of these areas, not always terrible because you can often find oil, maybe uranium in some of these areas. So as terrible as they look right now, they could be better. They could be worse. You never know, I suppose. But um, sometimes you got to take risks like that. And, and again, it's not even really a risk. You just might have one city that's like two people living there, you know, and that's OK. They'll, they'll have a good time together. In the meantime, let's... So a good way to kind of know where you stand and everything is looking at the bottom of the tech tree. Obviously, of course, you have the world rankings, so you can see exactly where you are. Um, but another good way, in, if you want a more visual look, it, it kind of shows you like, oh, wow, I'm still here in the industrial area, while some people are uh, kind of already moving on to the atomic era. So I'm definitely quite a ways behind. Um, so right now, definitely my priority... It's going to have to be catching up, I think, because um, I think even by normal game standards, I, I do think I'm a bit behind for sure, um, which is OK. You know, this is this is how Civ can go sometimes. It's it's not always easy, and, and that's OK. Um, you know, sometimes it's about the journey and the friends you made along the way. So let's start moving to economics. We got to let's, let's really start ramping up a bit. Um, let's get that money from the stock exchange and everything. Um, meanwhile here, can we make any wonders? No, can't get a spy, it's not a bad idea. Um, or a bank, what? I think right now, like I said, I wanna start the comeback mechanics. So let's let's start chugging out some spies. I think that's the move. Um, again, I just wanna put some dudes out, just get some vision everywhere. Um, and let's move this guy. Let's keep moving these guys down a little bit just to spread them out a little bit. Put that guy there. Put this builder, we're going to send him here to clear out the swamp. And this guy, let's repair. In case you didn't know, um, repairing doesn't cost any charges. So it's always useful to keep a dude with one repair. Um, I don't always do it. I don't always remember to, but um, definitely very useful to, to do if... Especially if you're playing with um, disasters, I think is, is it's definitely super useful. All right, built a sphinx. And in case you're wondering, um, most times this is not going to be in color, but we have a, there is a mod for this. Um, and I do plan on making a another mod video in the future uh, to to kind of show. I've already, I already have one with t eleven mods, um, and then I'm playing with thirty three, so I have to make another one with the other twenty two that I'm currently using. So um, definitely keep an eye out for that one. Uh, down the line. So yeah, meanwhile, let's let's get him out of there so he can get in there to heal. So again, in case you didn't know, healing um, within your territory gives you a medium amount of health versus like healing outside of your territory. But healing within a city center gives you the most. So if you can, always try to pull someone back to the city center uh, to save. Again cost benefit you know it depends on how far that city center is but um definitely very useful to be able to heal people up uh, very quickly and i think uh i think the neighbors are vacuuming so again apologies if you uh hear sounds so this guy seven gold per turn he wants 30 of my favor but he's gonna give me a great work that's interesting i wouldn't mind taking a great work to be honest and diplomatic favor i don't think i'm super in need of it the only thing i don't like is having to give him the open border let me see if i take that off seven five gold to turn I'm, i think i'm gonna take this 
Um, so in case you didn't know, it, it'll kind of depend again what level you're playing at, how strong the AI are, but a good market value you can get for one resource, maybe around seven gold per turn, um, can obviously vary game to game, but that's kind of the, the mark you try to aim for. Again, depends on what's available. Um, but here, getting to keep that great work, I think, I think that might just be worth it alone. Give me a little bit of a boost as I'm slowly building up my uh, some of these districts. All right, and yeah, so now that we're at peace, again, I think now is the time to really start, um, one, either building some more wonders, or two, just building up a lot more of our infrastructure. Because um, again, that's, that's always going to be what gets you to actual victory. Um, so I definitely want to keep building up here. I think I'm going to try to get the market first to make sure I get um, another trade route. Because again, very useful for uh, for Cleopatra. Let's keep exploring. Get those guys on alert. Set this guy on heal back there. Send him over there. Let's have him there on alert. Get him inside and heal. Maybe not. Maybe not even a bad idea to uh, form a core. Bada bing. Got a core. Bring that guy over. Fix things up. So now look, look our nation is starting to to look a, a lot more up. Um, cities are definitely growing a lot more. So again, I, I don't love where we are with the game, but overall, I think I'm doing okay. Can definitely uh can definitely continue to, to build up. Let's bring let's bring this builder down here, get that source of coal. And looks like we hit a dead end. So I think, yeah, I, I do want to start settling once a poo is ready. Can I fit another city here? Not that I even want to. This is kind of pretty useless land. So I think once a poo is ready and maybe when Akhetaten is ready, start getting boats out there, try to circumnavigate the globe and meet the final couple of sibs. Sibs. Did I say sibs? What was that sound? What was a crack? Oh, we just met Teddy Roosevelt of the United States. It's an honor to meet you. Let's exchange cap. Oh, what is? It's an honor to meet you. How did that happen? Oh, okay. So my spy in Constantinople uh, has given me knowledge of what looks like might be the last remaining sieves. So we have finally met Tamar and Teddy Roosevelt. Um, looks like the two of them, I'm, I'm getting there with Teddy just based on score alone, I suppose. But Tamar looks like she's crushing it. Um, again, score's not necessarily an end-all, be-all of indicator of who's strong, but it, it can get, definitely give you an idea. Because, um, yeah, it's not crazy to, to, yeah, to see that they are, they're both doing fairly well. Um... I think the size of their nations is probably a big thing, of course. Uh, but okay. So now that we're in Constantinople, let's let's gain sources. So in case you didn't know, when your spy enters a new area, he can uh, set up an information network, and that way missions he do, does in the future have a higher chance of being successful. Now, let us get let's get natural history. Um, get that extra sphinx culture as well as the archaeologists um, really start playing up the culture game um, try to close this gap a little bit because I, I definitely am behind clear out some of these met a bunch of people and let's also just be careful we got 10 turns till the next age oh sorry not 10 need 10 points to avoid the gold uh, dark age so far, it looks okay to me. Got a good amount of turns left. What, what age are we supposed to be? So we are in the modern era, era right now. So it does mean, again, I am behind in terms of the actual the actual time. Um, where right now, I'm still, uh, still in the industrial and haven't quite hit modern technology. So again, this is really the time I need to, to start ramping up a lot. Let's clear that. The extra food is there now, but I, I think I, I'm going to deprioritize the theater square for now. Let's put this commercial hub down instead. Switch to the queue, put that down. Let's 
bring him back since there's something I can... Oh, I, I think I just saw a settler over there, so I'm going to try my best to body block that settler. Let's bring him. Um, I don't really need the horses, and I don't think that tile can even be worked by any of my cities anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably get to this rice. Next probably is the move. Okay, let's start sailing. Meanwhile, any policies that we want to change here? Hmm, not in particular. I think I think we're okay. Um, but again, in the in the sake of again wanting to really sp get back into the game here, I got eight hundred gold. Let's see if there's anything I can kind of quickly buy. Just, just to kind of start ramping up. Let's get this university. Always good um, to get more science. And let's let's go next turn. Lombard, let's put him on alert. And let's just check our policies again, just just to make sure there's nothing else that we can better optimize. This is this is an interesting one, um, but I, I'm not so sure it's worth more than this temp production is to me right now. Maybe maybe we switch that out. The spy's already doing pretty well. I feel like without having to. Although I am producing a spy right now, right? So fifty plus fifty production, fifty percent production could be pretty useful. How how long is this? So I'm making a spy here. We're getting 19 production a turn, five turns. Um, yeah, let's let's keep that for now. Um, let's just turn out a couple spies, and we can switch to that later. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Gonna drink some water. Always good to stay hydrated, guys. Oh, major flood, but because um, we are Egypt, floods don't really affect us. So, overall, net positive. Um, looks like our populations are increasing. And uh, again, I'm just going to maybe send this horse guy this way. Explore that direction now with that dude. Let's have him on alert. So, I already have this guy up here. Yeah, I don't need the horses, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send him to the rice instead. I'm going to send him over to the horses, and we're going to chop the horses and, and cows over there. Meanwhile, sail across, found a new continent. And yeah, I definitely need to get some ships out there, start exploring that direction. Meanwhile, she is offering me quite a poor trade. Oh, okay. Big baller here. Heck yeah, let's do that. Thank you. I needed those amenities. Georgia, you know, you're not bad. You get a bad rap. I know some people don't like you and think you're a terrible Civ, but but now she doesn't like me. Oh my goodness. That's not me, I, right? Yeah, that's, that's Rome. Dang. It's right here, Mount Etna. Dang, that was close to hitting me, too. Meanwhile, here again, let's just... Let's just fix things up for now. Only one turn. Why not, right? Real quick. Get those done. Reap the benefits. Set them on alert. Let's keep bringing them over. Okay. Okay, hopefully I can find a small island for myself somewhere. All right, and again, so just in case you didn't know, cities can only work three tiles in any direction. So since these are kind of out of range of either of these two cities, I guess it would be in range if I were to take over Rapa Nui or not, not look Dunham. So only if I took over Rapa Nui would I really be able to use this tile here. And it's late enough in the game where horses aren't really going to matter anymore. So instead of building a uh, pasture here, I guess I can't remove the feature. Is that a... 
Can you not remove strategics? Is that a thing? Am I, am I crazy? Has that always been a thing? <laughs> Alright, we'll see. Hopefully I can remove the cows at least. Alright, again. Trying to get fly through some of these researches here. Um, three turns just so we can... Is there anything at higher priority right now? I mean, I do want to make my way to chemistry. Let me see, like... One, two, three... Musket men, neighborhoods. How many musket men do I have? One, two. I should have had three. Like I don't know why, right? Because I, I I combined these two, so like I should already have this boosted, right? Own three musket men. I guess I'm bugging. Um, but yeah, let's get a boat here. Time to start. Don't want a caravel. Yeah. It's, it's, it's faster to explore with. Um, and let's also get another dude out there. Get some more more vision. Always useful. Alright, let's harvest the food. So it's going to harvest it to the nearest city. In this case, I, I want to say it's going to send it to Nidoros. But, yep, looks like it sent it to Nidoros just now. So again, gave a bunch of food. So meanwhile, this tile, it's rice. Personally... I don't love building farms on rice. I kind of just take the food. Um, it is useful, I guess, to have a lot of food, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, and they have Mars, so I can just do it again for even more food. Yeah, I think that's... I made a good decision. Alright, so that's Tamiris. Yervin's been defeated. Looks like that was Rome, was it? Auckland's is getting attacked by Byzantium. Uh, where's Byzantium? They're, they're definitely not going to be able to hold Auckland at all. I don't know what they're thinking. Um, so meanwhile... Let's get... Yeah, let's get that trader. Two turns, and I have one extra route. Okay. Can I get a trader here as well? I cannot... Instead here, do I want to get a harbor? This is useful. I already have a commercial hub here, so I, I don't feel like it's super useful to have. So let's let's go with the industrial zone again, because um, again I don't have, don't quite have very much um, production. I would have to give up a big chunk of food though. I hate to do it, but I. Is there any anything else that would give me a boost here? I have to take Nas Garmu. That's not an easy city to attack, though. So, and they're my friends. So, let's just do it. No option. Whatever. Meanwhile, here, I actually saw two just now. Eight out of seven housing. Let's get the granary first, real quick, just so it can keep growing. Um, in case you didn't know, if you're over housing, your city can still grow but the rate that it grows at is significantly cut. Let's see if we can find the exact number here. Um, effects from housing. Yeah, so growth rate slowed by 75% because there's not enough housing. So if you want your city to keep growing, make sure you have housing. Um, easy ways, of course. Uh, fresh water, getting the uh, granaries or other buildings. Um, Neighborhoods are hit or miss. I would be very careful about building neighborhoods personally. Um, of course, you have aqueducts uh, and, and those types of places, dams, um, and, and things you can get. So, Nidoros. Do I have a industrial zone here? I don't. So, I, I'm going to have to wait for 19 pops to get industrial zone there. That's That's tough. So instead, you know what? Let's get the grove. I haven't really played with the, around with the grove very much personally because it's it's kind of new. So I haven't played with it too much. Let's let's kind of see what it does. All right. So I guess I can't take out the horses. So you know what? Let's just 
I'll just get, get it, I guess. You know, it doesn't hurt to have it. I can try trading it to, to scam some people, I suppose. Let's take out this extra food again. This city's getting huge. All right, so now that we are ready in this city, again, here it tells you the percentage chance that uh, you're successful in any given thing. Uh, usually, siphon funds is going to be the highest percentage chance, but I think right now, since we're getting a good chunk of money, let's go with stealing tech boosts. I, I do want to try to uh, catch up as much as I can, and I think getting some of those boosts is going to be a big help in that. Oh, meanwhile, uh, we're getting denounced by Odin over there. Might be... Oh. Join a joint war. I'm going to have to pass this time around, dude. Thank you, though. What is that cracking? What is that? <laughs> if anyone knows what unit is making that noise, uh, it, might be, it might be the war over here that's making that noise. Probably the tank, I imagine. All right, so keep keep it moving. Found some antiquity sites, that's good. Nice, nice. A lot in our territory, so that's solid. I think one was, okay. All right, so a lot of antiquity sites, so we can probably get an archeological place soon as well. Meanwhile here, let's go with so i think my next goal is to kind of hit ideology so i'm just going to queue all the way up to ideology um because yeah i think i want to hit this next government it's going to probably give me a huge help in catching up um by and bypassing a bunch of these governments even though some of these cards let me just make sure but i don't think any of these cards are super super useful right now maybe the wonder one but um don't think it's hugely necessary yeah, let's go with that. So in our capital, can we get another spy? Doesn't seem like it. So in our capital, let us get... Does this work at the Archaeological Museum? Or do we instead get an intelligence agency? Yeah, let's get the intelligence agency so we can get another spy out. Again, really just want to start ramping up. Um, because this is this is where it comes down for all the marbles so uh no more messing around let's place a bunch of dudes out oh uh let me think about this real quick okay yeah let's let's just do that i was thinking of switching some of my policies around but i think this is fine okay little island we might be able to settle there Meanwhile, this dude, let's bring him maybe to improve some of the land around Stavanger. Um, or maybe even up to Eretium. Er let's send this spy. So if we can't do, we'll probably have to do, uh, what's their name? America or Georgia? Is there any American city I can go to? Washington? Let's go to Washington. And I think I'm okay with these policies. No, I can't get another spy, right? So I'm going to take out the spy one, actually, now that I think about it. Um, so let's put that in there. And with that last spot. I feel like this one for now. And I think maybe I want to start moving to rationalism a little later. Because I think culture-wise... I, I think I am kind of starting to catch up in culture, even though it seems like I'm far here. It's because culture victory also takes into account, um, uh, like, tourism and everything. But in terms of just, like, where I am on the tree, I'm definitely behind. But I feel like this is definitely a doable distance compared to this. This seems a lot more daunting. So I, I won't worry too much about the culture just yet. So an in Inua, again, um, not too much we can work on here, so let's just get a stock exchange. More money doesn't hurt. 
can I buy anything in here maybe for it? No, not, I, I think that's unnecessary. Maybe I can buy something here. You know what, let's get the university again. Just get some more science, I'm trying to catch up. Um, here, let's get the bank. And again, just some exploring. I hope I can take that. Just not that it looks great, to be honest. Again, not 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 very great land. Kind of flat overall. Um, but just to have some more space, have some more power, um, would be nice. I think. So this trader. Again, we want to get more science. So let's let's go to Ostia. All right, do I want to build a Sphinx here? Again, I just want to double check the... Okay. So if next to a wonder, it'll grant more. Um, but I'm not close to any wonders. Is this a floodplain? I don't think it's a floodplain. Um, yeah, let's go... All right, let's let's see how much I would get for it here, since this is a natural wonder. So maybe maybe it'll get some points, but let's 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 try it out. We're learning. Oh, and the Taj Mahal is done. Did you ever build a castle in the air? Here is one, brought down to earth and fixed for the age, for the wonder of ages. My terrible Sean Bean impression. I'm, I'm very sorry to whoever is actually watching this and listening to that. <laughs> um, all right, so next, so uh, what did we just complete here? We just finished Taj Mahal. Can I build any other wonders? Does not look like it. So instead, here, my thought is that we go with the factory. Let's get some more production. That way we can start building some of these other things very quickly as well. Meanwhile here. Um, I wish I could see where I could place the industrial zones. But I'm, I'm going to be patient for now. Let's, let's get another layer of walls. Because this is probably the one city I really need to try to hold if I can. Um, in fact, I'm going to bring some more dudes down just cause I'm not feeling threatened over here at all. Like I shouldn't, you know, um, we all keep exploring. Okay. Okay. Some stuff there. Yeah. Let's, let's start working on a, uh, a settler in a poo. Can I buy one? How much, how much is that going to cost me? 535. All right. So we can get one next turn. Let's buy a settler in a poo next turn and uh, get him over there. Broadway was just finished by Trajan. Oh yeah, so in case you didn't know, and probably the reason why you can't spy on your allies um, is because when you're in an alliance with someone, you can actually see what they're making. Um, I kind of don't like that personally. Um, I, I don't know. I should not be able to see that he's making start spaceports already. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Personally, not a big fan of that des this design choice. Um, but yeah, so these guys are already starting space race stuff. Yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be brutal. Um, like if anything, I think I'm going to let my alliance kind of decline with these guys. Um, just so I can start messing with them. Because, yeah, now they're, they're already in space ports. That's, that's not a good sign. So, we were successful in our boost, so let's get a promotion here. Let's continue to boost the technologies, because I think that'll be very useful. Like I said, we are trying to catch up as much as possible. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's get that, let's get that settler now. We gotta, we gotta try to grab this as soon as possible. I'm thinking maybe here. One, two, three. Yeah, probably like right here. Put them on alert. Put that guy there. Put them on alert. So 
So no bonus. So instead of putting it here, I think I'm going to... I know I'm wasting turns here. Um, but since we might still be able to get bonuses for putting some stuff next to this, I'm going to put this Sphinx over there instead. Um, yeah, I think I kind of realized also I should have put the Sphinx earlier, considering um, it, it really is an early game thing. That plus two culture early matters a lot more than it does now. So I think that's definitely looking back. Um, one of the areas I probably could have improved on in this game. So, have a caravel so we can now explore. Let's bring this guy over here. Escort him over. Make sure he is safe. Let's check the land here. Make sure ain't no funny business. And I think what I'm going to actually do... I'm actually going to build the mausoleum here. Alright, so again, see here would lose those woods so instead what I'm going to do oh man can't buy it um, instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down an industrial zone again this would be the ideal spot for it <laughs> so let's let's put a turn to the monument get a builder next turn and then put down the industrial zone after that um, so again, just trying to swing back some influence on my side. Avoided the Dark Age, at least. Um, meanwhile, this trade route... Yeah, I guess, I guess we'll get it from Maostia. So let's get the Sphinx there. And again, if we can keep the stillness of technologies from him, that'd be quite nice. Quite nice. Alright, and so with a new a new guy, you want to be more careful since uh see these percentages here, the hit rates are much lower. Wow. This is actually like lower than normal, I think. He might be counter spying or something. I'm I'm not sure. Cause this this seems really low. 37. Yeah, for 37, I, I might consider sending my spy to somebody else. I, I know I can still do this, but 37 to the next level might only be like 50, two, two levels. So I guess like 67, maybe something, something like that, 70%. So that seems okay, but I, I did want to level this guy up and not have to do a 70%. You know what? YOLO, let's go. Whatever. I'm already, I'm already there. Yeah, this one's very variable, so I think I'm going to take that one out, actually. It's it's not as good as I was thinking originally. Instead, I think I might find more value out of an additional 19 gold per turn. Maybe this 12 science is starting to look juicy, too. Let's do that. All right, so again, just going to explore my sore. Yeah, it's going to be sore after I destroy it. Okay. Ooh, a meteor hit here. You can see there's a meteor, so if I send a unit there, um, I should get a bonus. So let's, let's bring that guy up there. Again, keep exploring. Um, I think at this rate, almost everyone's ahead of me in science anyway. I, I am starting to catch up, I think, though. I was, what, 36 before? Something like that, right? I was way behind. So, slowly but surely starting to, starting to make ground, I think. Alright. Um, random trash talk from Teddy Roosevelt, of course. Stay classy. Oh, what is this? So Basile declared war on me, but he's all the way, what the heck? What on earth? Where, what? What? <laughs> Yo. These tanks got all through here. Oh, they raised this city here. Got all through here and are now coming to me here. I can't, I'm covered because 
I have a bunch of allies, thank God. That essentially that these tanks are the only things I need to deal with here. But geez, here I was talking about feeling safe against this guy. Little did I know, this is what I had to deal with. Wow, that's this is going to be brutal. Okay, so looks like uh, part 9, part 8 next time is going to be quite interesting. Let's start pulling some dudes back, but I... This is, this is going to be tough. I'm very behind in terms of uh, my army power compared to his. He's he's attacking me. Um, I'm I'm really gonna need my allies to step up and help me. I think here, because um, I I do not have a lot to defend here. This this is interesting. Okay, Civ man, you never know. Every game, anything can happen. All right, let's. What can I do here? Like what is? Can I see his his attack strength? How much is the tank's attack strength? There's, there's no shot, right? Like, I'd have to make pike and shots as anti-cavalry to stop this. But even then, there's no shot, right? I cannot imagine. Alright, down here. Let's start working on that Mosley. Oh, right, I was going to buy a builder, but now that changes the game. Like, if I have to deal with that, I'm going to take it slow down in Apu, I think. Dang, I was not expecting that at all. I don't get a granary. Can I buy anything here? I think I have to, but there's nothing good I can buy. I have to wait, I think, two turns. Yeah, oh my goodness. Because I can't get infantry either. I don't have the oil or the gold for that. Oh my. Wow, okay, out of nowhere. Sorry. <laughs> I'm still just... Ooh, just very surprised. Alright, so I think uh, this... Let's see how much damage he does to my walls here. Okay. Okay. I think I should build walls here. <laughs> I'm gonna move a guy in here. Let's fortify him if I can. All right, yes, next time I think this, uh, we'll have to continue this. Wow, this this became interesting. Okay, thanks guys. This was a great game. I, I'm surprised, wow. All right, but um, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Truly, truly appreciate it. Again, I want, I want to do a lot better with posting a lot more. So please stay tuned. Um, more guides, more out there videos. You never know. I, I, I want to try different things out and, and we'll see what we like. Um, but again, thank you so much for joining and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you next time. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Peace.